Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching another super awesome Friday reveal, but this one is one that we haven't done for a while. It is our Build a Classic Telly reveal. And to my right, your left is my friend Miguel. And to my left, your right is my friend Dave. And working the camera is a guy I know named Chris. No, is my friend Chris and Mrs. Toast is in the background too. The guys worked really, really hard all week and came up with some super awesome guitars. I didn't even get mine done. This is as far as I got mine. This is as far as I got mine done. But Miguel and Dave both kicked ass and made fully operational guitars. You guys want to show what you what you were able to make in only five short days? So they, they both started with planks of ash lumber and uh, neck blanks that had no shaping at all and no radius and no frets and no nothing. And they turned them into these awesome awesome instruments and uh so what do you what do you think miguel did you have fun more than fun man there's not enough words to explain how okay this experience has been so like. so what what did tell us tell everybody about what you made here well like you said we started with a big old chunk of wood okay and okay hold on okay there okay there we go okay big old flat chunk of wood and we just started going at it slowly but surely it became into something awesome so now you wanted kind of a rustic flavor yes, sir. to yours, but and you only wanted one pickup. Yes, so what sir. is what does this guy do with this only is one my pickup? Kill switch right here. I got a broken finger there, so it's easy to just kill <laughs> everything, and then we can go from there. Okay, cool. So we got uh, you got kill switch in one position, mm -hmm. and then you got like straight to the jack, straight to the jack, and then and then all the way over is volume and tone. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. And then we did a custom uh, no. No, uh, no uh, pick the Esquire pick guard, isn't mm -hmm. that right, Chris? Mm -hmm. With a nice bevel, Chris's little idea. Uh huh. Looking awesome. And you also did a uh, a forearm contour forearm and and a belly cut. A belly contour. So now everyone, get a load of how straight these string barrels <laughs> are. <laughs> so now let's switch over to Dave, who also did a forearm contour and a belly contour with perfectly uh, uh, spaced string barrels you'll notice for all of those people who watch and go your string barrels aren't straight shut up yes they are they're perfectly done in every way so dave how about yours you got some custom features that you brought to the party too yeah we did the did the uh, reliefs and then um did hot rails so you brought some hot rails with you and we customized that you brought this pick guard too yeah oh yeah this pick guard we would like to thank the good people at seymour duncan who made this hot rails pickup not fit a uh, a fender, fender, genuine fender pick guard. <laughs> we had to, you had to modify that a little bit. Right, and then we came up with this uh, headstock. Ah, that's right. Including Chris's little ramp 3D idea too. So it all comes. It all comes. Evil Knievel jumps. <laughs> it's very, very cool. cool. It be a landing ramp, but yeah. It all yeah. came together very nicely. Yeah. Talk about the color. People have commented on the color. Well, it started out as a different idea, but um, basically it's uh, aqua and navy blue mixed in the dye. And we did one, one coat of black and then went back to blue again. So it ended up with the, uh, this really neat color and a little bit different color on the sides. It turned out really, really cool. So all of the guitars that the guys make at the one week class um, are translucent finish sprayed directly onto the ash that we get from our good friend Dan at Guitarwood Experts. Um, by the way, the uh, the neck blanks also come from Dan at Guitarwood Experts, and the truss rods come from uh, Bitterroot Guitars. So um, the, the standard truss rods that we use in all of our builds too. Well, so Miguel, we know what you thought of the class. David, did you have fun this week? Oh, very much so. Okay. Yeah, it was neat to go from nothing to something. It was. It, it's, For sure. Yeah. It, the, so day one goes quick, and it's like ta da! I have a guitar body. Day two, three, and four are like oh man, they're grinds, right? Mm -hmm. It was hard, yeah. The Just the um, yeah. That was what what was the what was the longest day? Next, next, For yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah. Well worth it. But you guys got to carve. Oh, I forgot to say. Yeah, Miguel did. You came up with a little bit of a twist on the classic uh, Fender yeah, Fender I headstock. Don't want to get yelled at there. I didn't want to get all the way yelled at. <laughs> yeah, you know. So um, and everybody, we used hip shot tuners on on everybody's gear. Uh, the open open non-locking tuners which are my favorite tuners i think they're really really cool so yeah um are there any questions chris about anything besides uh, blue? did they use neck did they carve necks with rasps or use the deadhead they use rasps yep all hand all by, all by hand. hand true luthiers yep 
Was that, does that, Devin <laughs> wanted to know that? Uh, no, I think it was Tom. Tom. Oh, okay. Yeah, wanted to know okay. That. Yeah. yeah, both of these guys are guitar makers now, not just guys who built a body and slapped the neck onto it. They carved their own necks and did the whole shooting match. Um, Chris and I stood like this over them for a week. No, we had we had a lot of fun with you guys. This was a lot of fun. I wish my guitar would have gotten done, but well, we knew it wouldn't. But yeah, yeah. It, it, it we we got a little bit of, of a, a ways to go on on ours because yeah, we wanted to get wanted to get these guys in. So I'm glad that you guys came out uh, and had a good time. I have I have Mrs. Toast. Will you grab? Um, so yeah, I'm glad that you guys came out and had fun and and had a good experience at the class. Um, it's, uh, it, uh, classes are one of my most favorite things. So, uh, Dave, da, 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 da. Da, da, Mrs. Da, da, Toast printed da, these da, out da, for you guys. Miguel, there's da, yours. Da, da. So yeah, you are official graduates now of the, uh, the Texas Toast build your own guitar one week workshop. And I can't thank you guys both enough for coming out and having a good time, um, and spending the week with us and just being cool, cool guys. So what do you guys want to say to everybody out there? Anything? Nothing. Well, life is too short. Definitely. Life <laughs> is too short. You gotta have an awesome guitar. What was your favorite part of the class? The neck. The neck day. The neck. Really? Day. Yes. How, How about you, Dave? Dave? We'll go with the beloved pin round. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, that's right. I forgot to tell. Everybody kind of assumes that that you just we just make you use hand tools, but like day one, you guys were using pin routers and band saws, and yeah, it was. Yeah. You were. We threw you to the wolves, basically. Day one's the scariest part of the class. Right, Miguel? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, everybody oh, yeah. Everybody can do this. No, don't, you're uh, cheating. There you go. We got stuck. Now, how about this? Everybody, everybody's leaving with everything that they had. We didn't yeah. bleed in your shop. No one bled in the shop. Yeah. That's yeah. strictly forbidden. That is. Oh, that's no, that's no. the rule. What was your, so pin rod, what was the yeah. least favorite part? If you don't have one, <laughs> then there is one. So, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Well, so um, so what 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 do you want to tell everybody, Dave? That you that you're better than them for building the guitar and well, they're yeah yeah yeah, now, yeah and they gotta come yeah yeah yeah. Any other questions, Chris? I don't think so. No, I think we're good. This is a this is a way better reveal because all I have to do is just stand around and talk and drink. I'm really good at all of those things. So yeah. Um, well, so guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in coming out to one of the classes, we'd love to have you. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff scheduled for, uh, this year. We've got one more and all next year, we've got a couple new things that, uh, recently were added, uh, with Mike Learn. So I'm looking forward to bringing those to you guys soon. So until next time, this is Matt and Miguel and Dave reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what all of us do because we're all guitar makers and life is short. You might as well have a cool guitar. Thanks for watching y'all.